gems and put them in your pocket. Then find the door and you can unlock it. to tell you where they put the gems, but I'm not gonna. You made that look easy.
going on? No, don't die! Valiant effort indeed. But don't bother, it takes talent. Thank <laughs> you. 
Everything's coming together like butt cheeks. Why don't you feed yourself and go out for cheese and and take me with you and treat me too. Prisoners could learn a thing or two from this guy. Get the best time, and I'll give you a kiss because I love you. Ha <laughs> ha 
take my dainty hand as I whisk you back to a time long forgotten. Long before the sh- the, the poop hit the fan here. The year was 1759. Ish, whatever. Self-made billionaire, cat fanatic, and theatrics aficionado Perham Furbottom set out to create the biggest, ritziest, most thrill-inducingest theater ever. And he did. And it was the talk of the town. Trust me, if you weren't there, you were most assuredly square. People were seriously like, what, you weren't there? What, are you a nerd? Opening night was a thing to behold, as Lord Furbottom organized the grandest, jaw-droppingest show ever seen. There was explosions and dancing girls, dancing girls who exploded, exotic animals, exotic animals who exploded, incredible feats of magic and wonder with fantastic production values all around. Furbottom sat for days on end, marveling at his breathtaking creation and packing handfuls of delicious, buttery popcorn into his mouth. But alas, his illogical contempt for intermissions ultimately caused his demise, and during the show, Furbottom passed away, having pooped himself to death on the way to the bathroom. Legend says he clenched his butt as hard as he could, but his little cheeks just gave out. Furbottom left nothing behind but his beloved theater, his precious kitties, his hat, and of course his bloated corpse, which was lovingly drifted out to sea and immediately ravaged by sharks. And that, children, is the legend of Perham Furbottom, a respectable and apparently delicious a gentleman. But the show must go on, right? Right! For thousands of years, Perham's hat passed from head to head, leader to leader, and the theater still operates to this very day. And what a piece of crap it's become! I bet Perham is rolling over in his sharks right now. Now. I mean, everything's poorly run and the whole place stinks like pee and feet. And with everyone involved walking a fine line between moodiness and full-blown insanity, it's only a matter of time before something truly horrifying happens. But try to keep a sunny disposition as you sink further into darkness, yeah? Nobody likes a crybaby. Find the gems and put them in your pocket. Then find the door and you can unlock it. Oh boy, this looks like fun. Who put that there? Don't lose your head. This is easy. That's right, not just any hat, but a golden hat. And it's worth up to it's ten gems. But that's good, go get it. have delicious fruity centers.
that's how it's done. in 1984 by Stanley Yarn. Back then it wasn't called it was called Pet String. People used to use it to work at their homes because it was very expensive. True story, yeah. Plus, go for it!
Appeared. Bring it to the exit and I'll make it rain! There's an A plus, right? Oh, it smells like beef stew in here. It's making me sick and hungry at the same time. Could you were this? 
this close. <laughs> Goodness gracious! Places you die there. Come on. Who <laughs> knows? Ha <laughs> 
You go. Stanley Yarn. Back then it wasn't called Yarn. It was called Cat String. People used to use it who were attached to their homes because meat was very expensive. True story. The end. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes, there's an A plus, but don't bother. It takes talent. <laughs> Too shabby. <laughs> 